through the city of Kingston, Ontario. During his stay in the country's capital, Hazur met with the Prime Minister Justin Trudeau at Parliament Hill, along with other government officials and members of Parliament. During this historic trip to the Parliament Hill, Hazur delivered a keynote address to the reception held in his honor. At the inaugural National Peace Symposium, Hazrat Khalifa Tumasi V, may Allah be his helper, delivered an address reminding the audience about the increasing possibility of a third world war. Having dinner with the audience, Hazrat Amir al-Mu'mineen, may Allah be his helper, met with the guests and dignitaries who attended. Hazrat Khalifa Tumasi V, may Allah be his helper, graced Jamia Ahmadiyya Canada and conducted a class with the students from both Jamia and the boys from Hifsul Quran School. Hazur's busy week concluded with an interview with one of Canada's national newspapers, the Globe and Mail. Hazrat Khalifa Tumasi V continued to meet with the members of the Jamaat. Hazur delighted the residents and visitors of Peace Village by taking a walk down the streets on one of the last nights of his stay. Leaving Peace Village, Hazrat Amir Momenin, may Allah be his helper, traveled to Saskatchewan, arriving in Saskatoon. Hazur departed from Regina, the capital city of Saskatchewan, where Hazrat Amir al-Mu'mineen, may Allah be his helper, would inaugurate the Mahmoud Mosque. Prior to the sermon, Hazur inaugurated the mosque by unveiling the plaque and offering silent prayers. The built mosque, the Mahmoud Mosque, was funded by local Ahmadi Muslims. In a first for Jamaat Canada, local community members played a significant role in its physical construction as many volunteered their time to help construct the mosque. A total of 41,500 man hours were dedicated by local Ahmadi Muslims in building the mosque. Reminding Jamaat members of their duties to humanity, Hazur explained that we should not only be happy by the construction of a mosque, but rather our target should be to increase the number of people who believe in Allah and His Messenger. May peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. Hazur held one-on-one -on -one interviews with both Global News and CTV News Saskatoon. What do we as Canadians have to do to foster more inclusivity in the world? You see, what the world needs today is to stop all type of atrocities and spread the peace and love and harmony. So this is what every person should do. And being a big nation, Canadians should also play their role. Khalifa Tumasi, may Allah be his helper, visited the construction site of the Beitul Rahmat Mosque. Departing from Saskatoon to travel to Calgary, Alberta, Hazrat Amir al Mu'minin, may Allah be his helper, arrived safely to Beitul Nur Mosque at approximately 12.30 p.m. On Wednesday, November 9th, Hazrat Khalifa Tumasi V, may Allah be his helper, attended a large press conference held at the Beitul Nur Mosque. Several prominent members of the Canadian press were present, including CTV, Global News, CBC News, Metro, and City TV. 
As this truly historic tour came to an end, there had been many remarkable and unforgettable moments. From Hazrat Amir al Mominin, may Allah be his helper, historic address at the Canadian Parliament and York University, to holding classes and educating students in each city, Hazur had attended a large range of events, including a large number of press conferences, as well as opening the first purpose built mosque in Canada which was constructed by volunteers in Regina, Saskatchewan. It was an incredible experience and privilege to have Hazrat Amir al-Mu'minin, may Allah be his helper's presence in Canada, celebrating 50 years of Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat's establishment.